Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also, beware of scammers, bots, WhatsApp, especially like in the comments. Um, if you see anything on Facebook or Twitter, I am not on Facebook, despite what you may see, or Twitter. I try to get the scammers down, but again, it's only so much that I can do. So remember, um, I'm only on YouTube and I only have one Instagram account. My link is always down below. I do have a private Instagram page. So I do have to approve you. So make sure that I know who you are. Um, because you know, I don't approve people who I don't know or who I think are spammers. So again, just make sure you watch out, be careful. I will not ask you for money. I want to offer to trade stocks or crypto, give you alerts, anything of the like. I don't do anything like that. If you want any of my services or products, check out my website, mt1finance.com or send me an email. If you're not, you're like unsure if this is actually Shalice or not. My email is always in my description box as well. MommyTraderTube at gmail.com com make sure you like share and subscribe and let's get into the video so um i'm trying to bulk record a lot of you know my dad is not doing well right now um we my family and i have known this and so um, um because we don't know what may happen I, I like to bulk record anyway so bulk recording in this aspect is always good because you know the channel is still moving despite you know me be, maybe being absent you know if something happens to my dad or when something happens um again my posting schedule is monday and thursdays only at 4 p.m eastern so make sure you guys remember that but today we're going to be doing our uh, like a portfolio update um, i'm not going to go through all of this i'll roll scroll through them so you can see them but i'm not going to go through all of it because this video will be too long i just want to give you some like tracking tips and show you guys how i track certain things in one of my spreadsheets because tracking your organization is so important when it comes to your investing journey um as always <clears throat> excuse me guys you have to remember your goal right so what is your goal like why are you building up these portfolios why are you investing in dividends what's the purpose of all of this because if you don't have a goal in mind you you're kind of shooting blanks in the dark and you don't want to really do that you want to make sure that you have a plan a strategy and ours of course is to retire early I'm 39, so we're trying to do it before 45. We've kind of messed around with our timeline a bit. Uh, we can do in the next three years, but I think because of inflation and just a whole lot of things, we want to bump it out to maybe, maybe about another four years. This will give us more time to really make sure that we have enough money um, coming in that the way that we want. Remember, when we retire early, we can't touch a 401k or um, a Roth because we'll be like 45. That's too young. So building up these taxable accounts and these dividends, building up Mommy Trader and my other side businesses, my husband's side businesses, um, and just like rental income that we're getting, this is going to help us get to that goal, okay? So you can see this current portfolio is at $51,288.71. Let me move my face up. The past day we're up about about let's say two hundred and thirty four dollars when you count the day and after hours the past week we're up over two, almost two and a half percent which is really good or almost twelve hundred bucks uh the past month we are up you know, about half a percent which is not bad past three months we're still down okay so remember since mid august the market has generally been down though it, it feels like it's coming back especially in the last like two weeks or so this could be the santa rally meaning you know stocks usually go up toward you know around the holidays and stuff but you know we'll see we're just going to dollar cost average this year the portfolio is, is up even you know almost a percent so we'll take green the past year it is up 0.33 so last year the markets weren't really good at all in 2022 so again it's just long term we buy and hold long term and then all so i opened up this account august 31st 2020 you see it up on your screen um and then i just slowly started to put money in and you can see we're up about 15 percent through all of that um time just you know buying through the dips and just you know keep it moving you can see over here these are some of our positions um just scrolling down it's a lot of them that's why i'm not going to go through all of these um i will guys i will um be rebalancing this portfolio along with all of our other ones probably sometime in december i do this twice a year now i've said this on this channel i do it in july and i do it in december a lot of investors um like warren buffett a lot of the like advanced investors always do like a, re a portfolio rebalance in december because of tax loss purposes or tax loss harvesting um or just you know like really trying to go in their portfolio analyze everything that's been going on um if there's a company or a fund you don't like anymore you can sell it and put that capital in a new company or fund 
or in a current company or fund that you like. So I like to do two portfolio rebalances every year. Um, again, not financial advice, but everyone should be doing them. Go in your portfolio, analyze the performance of your securities and see like, do you still want to continue to invest? Or maybe you want to just pause. Maybe you don't want to put any more money in a certain stock or fund. That's all up to your discretion. Remember, these portfolios are in your name, okay? Like what you're seeing right now, this is me and my hubby like this is our money like so you have to remember that that this is your money you don't owe it to anyone to give them an explanation on why you sell something so i just wanted to point that out so i just want to point out a couple of them so you see realty income it's kind of been making a comeback if you look uh let me scroll down a little bit if you look like in the past week it's up six percent i'm trying to scroll up let me see if this will let me here we go let me move my face in the past week, it's up about 6%. So shout out to all of you. I did a live, oh my goodness, maybe three weeks ago or so, where I researched Realty Income. They had bought a new, um, another company. I think it was Spirit Realty um, and an all stock um, transaction. And the stock fell to like $45. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Maybe in the past month, where was it? Was it here? No, was that it? No, it was down even further. Where was that? Okay, October 30th. That's when it was down to $45 and then it had another dip and then all of a sudden I think everybody bought the dips um, and now it's back up to $52. So shout out to all of you who was buying with me when it was low. Remember, we buy low and we hold long term. OK, uh, coming down, you can see we're down still about 15 percent, but we were down in this about 27 percent. So this lets me know when we continue to dollar cost average and what we like long term. It does work. You can see our average cost is $62. And then we have 151.23 shares of this. So I know we have a, a dividend pending. Let me see if I can find it. And guys, remember, if you want to open up a Robinhood account um, or if you want to open up any of the accounts you see me use on the channel, I always have my referral links down below. If you use them, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You'll get free stock. I'll get free stock. It's a great way to support the channel and get you to start investing. OK, so let's see. I bought a little bit here, but look at this. No, this was the dividend. This was the dividend we received, $38.53. And it was reinvested and it bought us 0.72 um, of a share. So that's great that our dividend almost got us a whole share of the actual stock. So our drip is turned on, which is the dividend reinvestment. And that way the account will automatically reinvest your dividends back into the position. Everyone should have this on. If you want to, again, I can't tell you what to do. I can't give you like advice, but um, if we're just having a conversation and we're just talking because we're family, you know, just make sure you get your dividends reinvestment, re reinvested. That's how you'll see compound um, interest really uh, work for you. If you come down to PG, Procter & Gamble, this is a newer stock we added to this. Um, and we really do like PG. I mean, talk about a good company to have in a recession I mean, or, or even in like a bad economic downturn. We're always going to use their products. And so I wanted to have some money here. We're up about 2.04%. We have 6.21 shares, which is always amazing. I don't know if we have a dividend pending. Let me come down and see. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, look, we have one. Uh, we got one $5 and 78 cents. So that's really nice. So you're going to see that reflected when I do our dividend portfolio update. By the way, guys, did you guys know I have my books? Let me show you. All right, guys. So we're here on the Amazon page. So I do have paperback or soft covers and I also have a hardcover. Hardcover does take a little longer to get to you. Remember, guys, these books are printed through Amazon. I don't print them and, and send them to you. Amazon does the work for me. But again, if you want a simple way to track your investments, I also have other books as well. So if you click the link down below, you'll go to my Amazon shop and you can get physical products. If you want the digital versions, check out my website, mt1finance.com. Every, all my books are $25. If you need, like, so Black Friday, everybody's going to be shopping, right? Oftentimes people forget the investing part. So you can't have financial freedom and you don't have investments. You cannot achieve a great retirement and you don't have investments or enough of it. So again, use this opportunity with all these sales to, you know, reward your, your financial side, right? So if you need private help, I do have a website, mt1finance.com. That way you can go on there and look, let me bring up my website actually. So we're here up on my website and I do have tabs up here, but if you scroll down, um, you'll come down here. I do have, I'm just put my face down. If you need private help, these are all sell prices right now. Again, 
you know, Black Friday, we may be buying a lot of stuff, but always invest in your financial literacy. If you need help behind the scenes, one-on-ones, I do have all of my prices right here. Um, and I am running an investing workshop that will be starting soon. So I do have limited seats right here. You see the investing workshop. Um, and the thing is, is that I have limited seats. So if you want to be a part of that, we're going to have a workshop on assets. We're going to have a workshop on order of withdrawal for your environment, for your investments and taxes, because that's an important one. Also your goals for next year, feedback. Do you have realistic goals? You know, really making a strategy that's all in this investing workshop, you'll see all of the different like like topics we'll talk about. And again, those seats are going to fill up fast. They're 10 bucks, 10 bucks. So again, guys, always make sure you are investing in your own financial literacy. You have to ask yourself, where do you see yourself five years, 10 years from now? Okay. And so I wanted to just to make sure I bring that up, but let me get back to good old Robin Hood and we'll continue. All right, guys, we're going to scroll down and we're going to just pick one more. And so I'm going to probably bring up this one share of Target that I bought. If you saw my last portfolio update, you saw that I did add this um, to this portfolio. Um, this is, you know, again, the Robinhood is strictly for dividend, good dividend stocks and funds that my husband and I like. And so Target has had a pretty solid past month. Um, if we scroll down, we just got the one share. So when we bought this last month and I try to buy it every month, um, the market just kind of target just kind of rose up. They had really good earnings. A lot of people, uh, was just buying in, but I got one share at $107 and 15 cents. And this one share is up 21.22%, which is kind of insane. And there's a target dividend paying. So target pays a dollar 10 cents per share. So again, you just have to believe in what you own Buy when the market is ready. See, I bought this $107. It was at $107 and I bought it. So I could have been scared or kind of flustered, but I continue to buy. And as a result, it's at $129, which is insane. So I just wanted to show you that it always pays to buy and hold in what you believe in. I'm going to bring you to our spreadsheet just to show you how I keep things organized there. All right, so we're in our spreadsheet now. I know I, this is going to be hard for you guys to see. Let me zoom in. Let me see if I can do 150% because I'm not going to go through all the columns anyway. Let me move my face over. And you can see that I just want to point out some of these, <laughs> some of these, I do update this at the end of the month. So I, because this will take a long time to do. So I do this at the end of the month, but you can see currently where we stand, but I have like the tickers, I have the company name, the shares, the account. So you can see like this goes down to like interactive brokers. I have them highlighted differently. So I know which account is which average cost per share that we bought it at the current share price. So this is connected to the actual stock market through, um, you know, Google Sheets. So that's pretty cool. If I come on over, you can see like, I'm just scrolling over. You can see total gain in terms of dollars, total loss. I'm sorry, total gain or loss, honestly, in percents. This highlights in red if we're down and this is realty income. That's that negative 17 that you see. What's the other one? Uh, and I think Main Street was the other one, but they're both really good companies that we really do like. Um, then the sector right here. So this lets me know like the sector that this particular stock or fund is in portfolio allocation, call spaces and market value, which is over here and then payment frequency. Okay. This is how I'm able to track everything up here. We have the total value of our just taxable accounts. This is not retirement or Roths or HSA. This is just taxable accounts about 156,000 year to date. Our um, though I don't know why I think it's off. I think that dividend number is off. If you come down here again, you see like our allocation and graphs. This helps me to see are we over leveraged in an area. So sector and by stocks with so a portfolio rebalance, I'm going to be doing. These are some of the things I'm going to be looking at. Okay. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys just some of the things that we're looking at when it comes to, you know, tracking and making sure we're meeting our goals, not just again, arbitrarily investing, but really making sure we have a strategy to all this, because again, it's so important to make sure we have enough money, right? Because, you know, we can't retire early if we're not realistic about what we have and will it work and actually having a plan to put all of this in place. So I hope that you guys just enjoy like this quick, you know, like investing, um, update and just how we track things. And again, if you guys need some help, check out the special sales, the Black Friday sales on my website. If you want to join our workshops, the workshops are back. So again, I do have limited spots. Spots is 10 bucks. So again, limited spots and I will shut it off like I did with the free investing course. I had to stop that because again, we met, you know, we have about 200 and some odd people there. So 
Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Beware of scammers, okay? And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye for now.